Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. All right, today I'm gonna talk about Wingtel, also known as Wing Alpha, which is a low-cost prepaid phone service. Now, Wingtel uses the AT&T network, and so if AT&T works well in your area, then this service may work well for you. Wingtel currently has six different plans, which all vary based on the amount of data usage you need. So if you really wanna go old school, you don't need any data at all, really, and you just need phone service, unlimited minutes, and unlimited text, they actually have a flip phone service where you can actually use the old school flip phone if you don't need a smartphone, and it's only $12 a month. So essentially, you would have unlimited minutes, unlimited text, and even with a flip phone, you'll still have access to the internet, but it'll be at 3G speeds. And with those speeds, you have a limit of 128 megabytes of data per month. Now, of course, if you're using a flip phone, you probably don't care too much about data and you'll probably only use it for emergencies anyway if you really need to get on the internet to check something. But you do have that access and at the very slow speeds of 3G. But again, if you have a flip phone, you're not really too worried about that anyway. The next available plan is if you do have a smartphone and this is the lowest plan that you can use if you were to use an iPhone or an Android device. And that is their 500 megabyte data plan for $15 a month. And all of these plans, all of them include unlimited minutes and unlimited SMS text messages. And a few additional perks that you have with the option where you can use a smartphone is that you have HD voice, you have hotspot tethering that's available, you can send picture and video messages, and you have caller ID. Now this plan is only available for basic GSM phones, so phones that use SIM cards, and specifically phones that use AT&T SIM cards. Now the next plan is the one gigabyte data plan. And with this plan, you're not restricted to the basic GSM phone. So if you have another phone, like let's say a Verizon iPhone, with all Verizon iPhones, I believe beginning with either the iPhone 4S or the iPhone 5, you can actually use other GSM SIM cards with AT&T or T-Mobile services or other services that use those networks. And so with this one gigabyte plan, if you happen to have an unlocked Verizon phone, you will be able to use the Wingtel SIM card in that phone as well. And this is actually the plan that I used over the course of about two months. This is the same phone that I used to test out Xfinity Mobile. And so it was an unlocked Verizon iPhone 6. And I was able to insert the Wingtel SIM card into that phone and it worked just fine. And so in my area, AT&T works pretty well. And so I didn't have any problems with the service. Um, I didn't really use data very much. Just like when I use Xfinity Mobile, I have cellular data completely turned off. That way I can make sure I don't go over that one gigabyte of data. And then I'm charged additional fees for going over that data. But most of the time that I'm using my phone anyway, I sh usually have Wi-Fi available, whether that's at home or if I'm out and about at maybe a retail store or Starbucks or something like that. There's Wi-Fi pretty much everywhere so you can pretty much survive on one gigabyte of data if you just change some of the behaviors that you have with the way you use your phone. Most importantly you want to make sure that the cellular data setting is completely turned off on your phone and that way you don't have to worry about maybe one of the applications that you didn't know that was using mobile data actually using it in the background and then using up your data allotment with something that you weren't expecting. Now the next two available plans are the two gigabyte data plan for $27 a month and the three gigabyte data plan for $34 a month. Now as far as differences and features, there are no additional features that you gain with these specific plans like you did with the going from the GSM to the 500 megabyte to the one gigabyte plan. And the same goes for their unlimited data plan, which is actually $55 per month. But at the current moment, it's actually $49.99 for their unlimited data plan. Now, Wingtel does have family plans, but in order to get a discount on that family plan, you have to add at least three devices onto your family plan. And so the unlimited data plan drops from $55 per month to $50 per month for each line that's on it. And you don't get any additional discount for adding four or five up to eight lines. There is no additional discount. So so just keep in mind that $50 is the best that you'll get with the unlimited data plan with the family plan. Now also keep in mind that this does not include taxes and fees and any city or state taxes that may be included. So it may be an extra maybe $5 per line once you include the taxes and fees. And so that, that is one difference between 
other prepaid options where sometimes tax is already included with like T-Mobile's phone service or with Visible Wireless where all of the taxes and fees are already included in the price. However, unlike Visible Wireless, with their party pay, which is considered their family plan, you do actually have to have multiple accounts in order to get that discount. However, if you wanna keep it all within one account, Wingtel does offer that with their family plan. That way you have one account that you pay from and one account that you log into. With Visible Wireless, you will get a larger discount where if you have four people, you can pay $25 per month for each line. However, you would have to have four separate accounts, all with different logins, although you could use the same payment information for all four. You would have different logins, different passwords, or you could use the same password, but you would at least have to have four different email addresses that you use if you wanted to have a quote unquote family plan with Visible. Now, as far as my experience with the network, I really didn't have any issues with phone calls or with using the internet on the go. AT&T works pretty well in my area, and I can tell from using AT&T in different areas within my city that I really didn't have any problems. And so, of course, this will vary depending on your location. So if you've used AT&T in the past, or if you've used another MVNO that uses AT&T's network, make sure that it works well in your area and considering the price when compared to other options in your area. Now, the one great thing I will say about Wingtel is that the customer service was actually pretty cool to work with. Everything is done either online or via text, and you can actually text back and forth with their customer service to get your phone service set up. This was a little bit of a different experience going through text message versus maybe having to call or go inside of a store. Everything is done over the phone via text, not an actual phone call, so it was actually pretty cool. And they seem to be pretty laid back with their customer service. Now, considering their unlimited option, as well as their lowest cost option at 500 megabytes of data for $15, when comparing the one gigabyte plan with the one gigabyte plan on Xfinity Mobile, Xfinity Mobile actually does have a better deal. And there are also options, if you don't use a lot of minutes or texts, like Ting Wireless, where you can kind of control your spending if you don't use your phone a lot, and you can actually get it even lower than $15 based on your usage. However, if AT&T does work better than maybe a Verizon in your area, I recently reviewed Ting Wireless and they use Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile. So if AT&T works better than those networks in your area, then it really depends on who has the best network versus maybe who has the cheaper plan if you can't get great service with the cheaper plan. And even though the service worked pretty well for me, Verizon also works pretty well for me in my area. And so using Visible Wireless has been a great prepaid option for me that already includes taxes. And so for me, this is actually a better plan. However, Wingtel would be a better option when compared to Xfinity Mobile, because with Xfinity Mobile, you're required to have another relationship with Xfinity, either through their internet or through their cable or through their home phone services. And so if you don't already have a relationship with Comcast slash Xfinity, then the cost for Xfinity Mobile would actually be more than all of these other services. So you really have to take into account your specific situation to see if this is a service that works best for you. All right, so if you've used Wingtel in the past, let us know in the comments your experience with their network, or if maybe this is something that you're willing to try if AT&T network has worked well in your area. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a part of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.